Hello, I'm Sophie and I'm back, ready to share from my Guru's book, Compassion Conquers All, Teachings on the Eight Verses of Mind Transformation by Sam Rinpoche. I'll continue on from page 39 of the book, which is No Choice, Nothing Lasts. You must realize that everything is impermanent by nature. No choice, nothing lasts. What is the defini definition of impermanence? Any phenomenon, any item, object, thought, place, people, situation, whatever that is dependent on other causes or phenomena for its existence is impermanent. Therefore, People who are attached to praise and whose happiness arises from receiving praise, their happiness is deluded because praise is dependent on a lot of things. It is dependent on our actions, dependent on the stability of our actions, and then dependent on actually getting the, pra the praise and having people around you to praise you. And when you don't get it, you become unhappy. So praise is impermanent. It is not lasting. So if we depend on happiness from praise, we will experience unhappiness again and again and again and again. It is the same if our happiness is dependent on wealth or achieving wealth and only wanting wealth. Wealth and the process of achieving it takes up a lot of time. It takes up our youth. It takes our time away from our family. It takes away time from everything. There are a lot of sacrifices, such as health or mental peace. We can even go off the deep end to achieve wealth, do negative actions, things that break the law. And then when we actually achieve the wealth, the wealth is unstable. We can lose it anytime. Achieving it requires so many causes and the causes themselves are impermanent. Therefore, if we base our happiness on wealth and achieving it, and the process of achieving it, we will suffer very badly. The second, the, the title, Pervasive Ignorance. We will suffer constantly while we are trying to achieve it. When we achieve it, we will suffer as there is no guarantee that we will be able to keep it. That's the wealth. And the minute we lose it, or there is a sign of losing it, we run to temples, we run to lamas, we run to divinations, we run to magicians, we run to fortune tellers, and we run to anybody who can save our wealth. And in the process, we suffer. And when we actually lose it, we suffer even more for some extremely. From beginning to the middle to the end, it is total suffering, mental, physical, environmental, outer, inner, constantly. And our ignorance is pervasive and very strong to say or think that if we achieve it, we have happiness. If we look around at people who are actually wealthy, how many of them are deeply at peace or have happiness in their mind? And when they have it, when they lose it, how do they feel? And what is the process of life? One day you will lose it. If not in life, definitely at death. When you are born, you are born naked. You cannot take anything from your previous lives. Wrong perception. When we think about it carefully, when we think about it constructively, and from the right angle, all phenomena are empty of inherent existence. Empty of inherent existence does not mean empty of existence. It means empty of the way we perceive it, it exists. Therefore, when we check something, when we look at something, 
when we have attachment towards something, in it itself does not exist the way we perceive. For example, wealth does not provide happiness, but we have a wrong perception that it does. We follow that. We run after that. And it is not that if we don't achieve wealth, we become unhappy. It is the wrong perception to believe it brings happiness. And when it does, bring, it does not bring happiness, we suffer. It is not wealth or losing it that makes us suffer. It is a wrong perception. The ignorance percep perception of what we think it can do for us. So it is the motive and the process that makes us suffer. It is our wrong perception or idealization that makes us suffer. Not the wealth, not losing it, nor not achieving it. Wrong projection. We can apply these examples with everything around us in everything that has happened in our lives that has so-called disappointed us. It is our wrong projections and wrong attachment to it. It is not the object itself. All objects are free of inherent existence. Inherent existence means existing on its own without causes. If wealth could exist on its own without any causes, it could bring, a ha it could bring us happiness because it would be permanent. So if something can exist on its own without dependency on causes, it will be permanent. If these things are permanent, they will bring happiness. Because wealth comes under the classification of impermanent phenomena, our grasping at it as being permanent when it does not make us suffer. Right, so this one, it says that if wealth is, class, I mean, if, if it's um, permanent, Sorry, it is an impermanent phenomena that our grasping to make it permanent, then it will not it will not suffer, make us suffer. Because I mean sorry, it when and when it is because of our grasping of making it permanent that when it is not it will make us suffer. It is like when we meet someone new, if we have a projection that this person is kind, compassionate, honest, and will be loyal, and we find out later that they are not, it is not that which makes us suffer. It is actually our own wrong projections of that person, what we think they should be like, and what they did not fit our projection. It is because of our wrong projection of that person or that phenomena that we suffer. We do not suffer because of that person or that phenomena. So we go on ignorantly blaming other people, our other situations, other things. And from that wrong projection and wrong perception, we shout, we scream, we hurt, we use, we use harsh words, we kill, we steal, we lie, we commit sexual misconduct, we use schismatic speech, we put others down. It is from that wrong perception we do all those negative types of actions. Those negative types of actions will bear fruit. Because the root is negative, of course the sprout, what the result will be, is negative. What makes us suffer? So what makes us suffer is not realizing that things do not inherently, inherently, sorry, inherently exist on their own. Every phenomenon is impermanent. It is our stubbornness not to accept that fact and to put more into it than it is. It is our stubbornness to have the wrong projections towards an object of the five senses and it is not fitting our projections the way we think it should be that makes us suffer. And the worst part of it is that we do not have enough wisdom, clarity of mind, meditational powers, 
and penetrative wisdom to actually see the object for what it really is. Therefore, we are stuck with two problems. First, wrong perception due to delusional mind, due to wrong mind and wrong perception. And second, a grasping at the wrong projected, uh, projected perception. So grasping at the wrong projections and wrong projection itself makes us suffer. Grasping. What is grasping? I will give you an example, the same one I gave previously. When we meet someone and feel that they should be a certain way, and we build up our hopes, that is grasping. Onto the way we think they should be. And when that person does not fulfill what we thought they should, be through our lack, they should be, sorry. And when that person does not fulfill what we thought they should be, through our lack of wisdom, then we think they are bad, they are evil, they are negative, they are not good. I must fight them. I must get revenge. I must get them back. So it is actually not them if we use our wisdom. It is not them. It is our own wrong perception that our, and our lack of wisdom to perceive. The lack of wisdom to perceive and the wrong perception itself is also impermanent, which means it can be removed because these two factors are based on other two conditions to survive. Therefore, there is an end to suffering. Logically, because those very perceptions are impermanent, that is a clear implication that there can be eradication or annihilation or destructions of those actual causes that brings us unhappiness. Think about it. All our suffering arise from wrong perception or of all wrong perception projections onto everything around us. From morning to night, we have wrong proje projections. That wrong projection can come from conditioning. It can come from stubbornness, laziness, and selfish attitude. Ego is what makes us basically having the wrong projections.